Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I get a lot of questions from uh, small business owners and uh, potential small business owners saying, Dave, I need a federal grant to help me start my business or I need a federal grant to help me expand my business. And each time I have to give the bad news that the federal government does not make grants to either start uh, a new small business or um, or to expand a small business. Instead, if you I mean if you want to start a, a business, you got to find the money from somewhere other than Uncle Sam. If you're looking to expand your business, what you want to do, and this assumes that you're already you know open, you're selling your goods and services, what you really want to do is go after federal uh, federal government contracts. Um, the the federal government, and this goes down to state and local governments too. They spend, you know, billions of dollars every year on all kinds of, of goods and services. Chances are, whatever your business is, the federal government is probably buying it. And to get plugged into the federal contracting system, I am no expert. I know just enough to be dangerous. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But... Fortunately, there are what uh, what are called procurement technical assistance centers. There's at least one in every state uh, throughout the country, and including Puerto Rico. Um, and their entire mission is to help small businesses get registered with the federal government and to show them how to find uh, contracting opportunities and then to help them uh, to help show them how to bid on those opportunities. So what you what you want to do is there are a couple of good websites. This one here, uh, aptac-us.org. Don't worry, I will have links to each of these websites in the, um, the video description. But I find this one to be the most user-friendly. Um, just go to this website. And it will tell you everything about what PTACs are, how they can help you, you know, from uh, getting registered with the system for award management, tips on winning contracts. Uh, this, this is, I won't play the video here. This one's pretty interesting. Um, if I played it now, the way my microphone is set up, you wouldn't be able to hear it. So that's, that's not terribly sexy. Uh, so... You know, I just start here, click on this, how PTAX can help you. And then it just, you know, when you first go in to meet with um, a, a representative or a counselor at a, a PTAC, they're going to sit down with you and determine just, you know, how suitable your business is for contracting. Then help you get the necessary registrations uh, go after the small business uh, certifications and HUBZone and 8AA certifications. You can learn about those over at the Small Business Administration, and I'll show you that in a second. And then it gives you just all this other stuff that PTAX can do for your small business. And the best thing about it is nearly everything that they do is free of charge. Uh, one of the... One of the, the first, not first, well, yeah, I guess one of the first grants that I had that I was awarded early in my career was to help establish one of the larger uh, PTACs in California. And their logic, their logic was, and it's the, it's the same logic throughout all the PTACs, is they don't charge for the services because what happens is, you know, the money they get... Um, in, in the form of grants to run the P-Tax comes from the federal government. And the idea is they're not going to charge taxpayers <laughs> who already paid taxes to support the grants that go to the P-Tax uh, for the services that they render. Does that make sense? You know, they don't want to double charge people. You're already paying taxes to support these programs, so why would they charge you again? Now there are some PTACs that do um, <clears throat> that do charge like a nominal fee, 
for some of their workshops or trainings, but you know, it's not exorbitant. Um, and all that money goes right back into the PTAC to support more services. So even if you're charged, you know, 10, 20, maybe even 50 bucks, I don't know. All the ones I've seen have been free, but if they do charge you a nominal fee, you're going to get a lot more in return. So don't worry about that. But again, most of these services are absolutely free. It is an amazing deal. <clears throat> what else? <laughs> so you can see there's it's like some webinars and videos you can watch. Um, I'm not sure what else to say because I, I didn't script any of this out. I'm just kind of winging it if you can't already tell. <laughs> oh, if you want, so the Procurement Technical Assistance Program at the federal level, which created the Procurement Technical Assistance Centers, or the PTACs, was, event, uh, was initially and still is under the uh, Department of Defense, under the Defense Logistics Agency. And if you really want to get deep in the weeds about how the program was started and what the, what the purpose is, you can go to uh, this website here. Again, I will link it in the video description. And you can check it out. It's um, it has a, a lot of the same information as the uh, this one here, the AP Tax website. Uh, it's just not quite as user friendly. It's, it has a whole different purpose. It's more information driven, whereas this this one here is more service driven. Now I mentioned a little bit earlier about those small business certifications. Uh, if you're really curious, the PTACs, I, I believe, will help you walk through those different uh, certification programs. I can't guarantee it, but I believe they do that as well. Uh, if you want more information on them, just go to the Small Business Administration's website uh, right here, sba.gov. Again, I'll have a link to it. Go to Federal Contracting. And then you'll get this pull-down menu. You'll have, you know, a few menus like this. Uh, this one, I, th I believe this one in the middle. I mean, this hall has good information. This one here gets really specific. So if you have a, a women-owned small business, it will walk you through, walk you through that, how to get... Uh, I get certified. You know, I don't want to bore you just, <laughs> just scrolling through this. Um, and then the 8A small business uh, certification. Again, I'll just kind of scroll through here just so you can get an idea. So like here, the 8A program qualifications. So it just talks about, you know, if you're going to certify... This is going to outline the qualifications for 8A. Um, okay. Let's see. What else? I think that's about it. So I would really encourage you, if you are a small business owner, to find your PTAC that's near you. And mm -hmm. so select a state. And uh, I don't know, it's just I've never done. Let's see, Georgia. Let's see what turns up for Georgia. All right, so here we go. We got, we have all the P tags in Georgia along with some contact information. A lot of these P tags are either uh, standalone. Uh, nonprofit organizations, or they're housed uh, within junior colleges, colleges, or universities, or plugged in that way. So, so yeah, just find find your PTAC. They'll help you get dialed in with everything you need for federal government contracting. I uh, the one I helped start worked. Um, at least initially, on just federal contracting, 
but I know that there are some P tax out there that will help um, that will help businesses also get set up uh, at the state and local levels as well. I don't know if they all do that, so don't hold me to it. <laughs> if you find out that yours doesn't, don't come back to me and say, "Damn, Dave, you know you gave me bad information." Because honestly, I just don't know. I don't keep track of all these all these P tags. I kind of know. Like I said, I know just enough to be dangerous, but also just enough to be helpful. <laughs> At least I hope so. Anyway, that's all I have got. That's all I have got. That really doesn't, that doesn't sound, that's all I have. There, that sounds better. That's all I have. If you found this helpful or useful or, you know, whatever, it gave you a way to, you know, kill a few minutes, <laughs> um, give it a like or a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified, obviously, when future videos are posted. All right. Have a good day. I will see you in the next one.